All right, well, hello everybody. Thanks for tuning in to my survival guide. Let's play on the 1.16.5 version of Minecraft. All right, so today we're going to build a super easy iron farm, and we're going to disguise it as a water tower because who wants to see a floating iron uh, farm in the middle of a crop field? Um, and we're going to plant it right in the middle of all these crops. Kind of makes sense for a water tower to be there to uh, water all your crops. Now, all these blocks here, this is kind of the um, starting platform. All these dirt blocks are temporary blocks. Uh, we'll get rid of those. But, uh, you know, so we got to get started on this. Now, since last time, uh, I did a couple of things. And now all these crops, by the way, are not for our food, as the, um, the cow crusher we built in the farm is uh, cranking away. So we don't really need food. These crops... Uh, are to trade with the villagers and uh, we're going to be getting uh, emerald rich pretty soon here and uh, that's going to be very cool it's going to open up a lot of doors for us uh, now also since the last episode uh, we've done these uh, started on the pathways and we started on security as well so i kind of build a, a, a randomized uh, stone perimeter around um around the wall. Uh, right now I lit it up with torches, but that's just because I don't have uh, better lighting, so we'll fix that later. Um, these little gates are kind of temporary gates. They're good because villagers cannot get in and out. Mobs cannot get in and out. We can get in and out just fine, and you can also jump over this with a horse, so it's pretty functional. Now, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to make it so that horses can get in and out of here, um, or if we're just going to put a horse stable outside and then do something more majestic with uh, an archway and stuff. I'll, I'll, you know with all of these uh, we'll kind of decide that uh as we go and finally the other thing we did was i started a little bridge here and this bridge over here i haven't really done much on it i'll probably do this on camera but i just started the bridge right here and this goes from our uh, starter base and the uh that the evil dead uh, cabin that's got the zombie uh, xp grinder in it and it comes on over here to our more permanent establishment uh okay so Let's go ahead and get started on this iron farm. Super easy iron farm, no zombie required. Now that does mean that it won't work at night, but that's okay. We're still fairly early game, so we're sleeping through the nights. Um, for a single player world, this is a this is a great uh, iron farm. It, it's going to produce plenty of iron for us individually here. Um, and we'll b maybe we'll build a bigger one or multiple ones as we get a little bit later if our iron needs increase. But for now, it's not going to take a lot of resources and a lot of time. To build this As a matter of fact it's going to take more time to build the water tower around it than it is the iron farm and again this is a big ugly monstrosity right now but uh, we have to get um uh i've got one villager up there and then i'm going to show you how i did that it's super easy this is just to get the villager up there we, we need five villagers up there ultimately uh, but we only need to lead two of them up there and then uh, we can breed the rest of them so let me go ahead and um take the uh, shaders off here real quick all right, and I am going to leave a couple of resource packs on. That's just your default. I'm using Python's pack, um, and then I'm using uh, Dramatic Skies. And I'll put a link to these two uh, in the comments. And so, again, this doesn't, uh, these are free. They don't, uh, as long as you have, if you're on PC and you have a semi reasonable. Uh, you know, processing and stuff like that. It doesn't really affect the game at all, but it, uh, I like the clouds. It looks pretty cool. Uh, some of the things I like about the uh, Python resource pack, I I, uh, I really like. Uh, they seem to be clear, uh, a little bit clearer. Um, I noticed that the water is, is it appears to be more transparent, and then the cursor, the the little marker in the middle of the screen, instead of that, uh, you know, that little. Um, almost like an L or a backwards L, depending on where you're facing. You just got this tiny little dot, so it's uh, uh, it doesn't obscure it as much. And there's some other small stuff, like smoke looks different. There's some other small stuff you can see over there. But uh, anyway, so I'm running two uh, texture packs, and that's that. Okay, so and we need to get a, a second villager over there. So let's go ahead. We've got a villager right here with a workstation. It's real easy with the workstation. He's attached to this one. So if we break this workstation and we lead him over here a little bit, He should reattach to this workstation. And if he doesn't, somebody will. Doesn't really matter which villager it is. Okay, this guy took the job. All right, great. Uh, now, I, the only tricky part is I need them to be, gotta, be able to get out of here, so I might lose a villager in the, in the uh, meantime. Okay, we're going to break that again. We're going to hop out. And we'll place it. And he should take the job. All right, then we'll... 
break that block so nobody else can get out. All right, and we're just going to do this. Uh, you've probably seen this before. We're just going to lead him over here. Slowly but surely, we will get him up the stairs. As long as you don't too, go too far, he'll follow right along. You also want to pay attention to time of day. If it gets too late in the day, they stop taking jobs, and then you'll have to wait till the next day. Let's see if I went too far for him. That ah, looks like he's coming right along. Oh, I'm in his way. All right, you're in, fella. Very good. Now let's uh, put a bed down for him. I, uh, shame on me. I didn't bring a bed with me. Let me go grab a bed real quick. All right, we're going to need a total of five beds up there. And we'll get this guy attached to this bed. The workstation doesn't really matter. We just want him to attach to that bed. So now they're both in here. They're locked in so we can get rid of both the workstations. We don't need them, but uh, we can use the room, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just get rid of them. There you go. Place the other couple of beds in. Okay, so let's try to get one right here. Right there. All right, now, if we can get out of here. There you go. Now, all we got to do is feed them. And they're going to start breeding. Now, they only need 12 each to breed. Um... I'm going to give them more than that because I need them to breed a couple of times. And I don't feel like counting and trying to get each one to pick up a certain amount. So we're going to have plenty there. They're going to go ahead and start breeding right away. Uh, there they go. Okay, so we need to get five in here. And then they'll probably start... It'll there is spawnable space around here. We'll fix that. But um, as soon as there's five, if, if, if there's five villagers in here and they've slept before we uh, finish the platform, uh, golems will start spawning. That's fine. We'll just, we'll just have to um, terminate those golems and to get them to start spawning where we want, when we want. Okay. So it's getting dark. So I'm going to go ahead and run down and sleep myself. And then we'll start while we're waiting on them to, uh, Breed up to five villagers there. We're going to go ahead and uh, start working on the uh, platforms. Okay, and I'm going to pick up my bed because I don't want them to breed six villagers. Eh, it wouldn't hurt anything. Everything would still work just fine. But um, it's nice and clean this way. Okay, so you only need to build this platform eight blocks above the ground. Now, I went, um, if, you, if you count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This platform's on the twelfth. Um, what, what the 12th block from the ground would be. And the reason I did that is just for proportionally speaking, I want the uh, the height of the tower to be a uh, certain height. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to um, work on our spacing here. So we need to get some supplies. Uh, about everything we need. This is, you are not going to need all of all of this much of everything. Uh, some of it's pretty close to it, um, but really, uh, this is the this is a, a ballpark of what you're going to need, and uh, hopefully that'll be too much. Uh, and let's get started. We're going to start with some simple cobblestone, and what we want to do is we want to start by building the platform out. Okay, so right now, um, what's what's built here is you need a six by six platform. And that's going to leave you with the interior dimensions after you put a wall up on it. You're going to build a six by six platform and then you're going to put a little wall around there. Um, you're going to want him, you can use anything you want, uh, but I like putting glass here on the top for a couple of reasons. And we're going to put a, another layer of glass here uh, just to close them in. Uh, but we want them to, there to be a non spawnable area as the top block here. And we're going to put slabs on the floor in here so that a golem can't uh, spawn in here. As a matter of fact, we'll probably do that before we start on the second level. So here we're at the three villagers so far, so we just got uh, two more to go. If I need to throw some more carrots in there for them, I will. But uh, we need to figure out where the platform is going to be. So ultimately, uh, clearly, like I said, we have a six by six. So we need this to be ten by ten. So we're going to expand it out in each direction by two blocks. Okay, so we got a 10 by 10 all the way around with the exception of this little walkway. I need to maintain this until we're done getting up and down here. But, uh, okay, did they just breed again? Yeah, so we got four, so we're doing pretty good. We got one more to go. They're going to be at five before, any way before I'm uh, ready to build the second, uh, the Iron Golem platform. But that's okay. Okay, so now 
Okay, we're gonna get spruce logs and we're gonna we're gonna go all the way up to each corner. And so that might be a little bit tough to judge. I should have uh, marked, but this is probably about it. Let's just uh, let's see if this is not the case. Nope, I missed it by one. So this is the uh, mark. Once we get this one right, then we can just walk off the other steps. It'll be very easy. Incidentally, one more thing I wanted to share with you. Um, I put this tower here for two reasons. Number one, it's in the middle of my the crop field that I've I've kind of uh, made here. Also, we need it to be a certain distance from any other golems. Otherwise, it'll stop golems from spawning in the farm here. So I th I don't think it has to be this far. But I did I did. Um, I made sure there was at least 30 blocks between here and where the nearest golem could be. And that's uh, in my test world. That seemed to work just fine. Okay. Now to find the, um, the rest of the placement of these, it's just, it's just the 10th step. So that's one, two, three. Okay. So that's 10. I'm going to have to scoot our, uh, our path over just a little bit, but that's okay. So now we got the block is one, two, three, four, five, six, there you go. And then 10 this way. All right. And that'll be our square. Now I'm going to build up a little uh, a little temporary platform so we can get uh, up and down out of here. You know, I have a jungle right there. If I just had a good source of string, I could just make some scaffolding, and this would be a lot easier. But uh, even though I do I do know where a mesa is, you know, I could have went over there and built a quick little, because we did find some uh, a surface spider spawner. It would be easy to... Uh, build a little spider spawner there and have a whole bunch of string, but uh, I just haven't done that. So we have to suffer with dirt blocks for scaffolding for now. Okay, there we go. So we got uh, four legs up. Now let's uh, we're going to grab some oak stairs and we're going to put some cross beams on it. And it's going to look something like this. We're going to start we're going to start with an upside down stair on the third block. And we got to get up here. All right. And then we're going to kind of just kind of do like we do on roofs. All right, I'm not sure exactly how uh, how far our halfway is. We should be fairly close. That looks fairly close. Let's start from the other side now. Okay, that was perfect. All right, so now we got to start walking it back this way. So now we'll put a stair here, and we'll just start uh, coming back uh, towards the outside. Okay, very nice. All right, now we just got to do the same in this direction. All right, as soon as we get this mess out of the way, that'll be like a nice cross beam section. Okay, so now we got to do this on all four sides. Okay, so we have all four sides with the uh, cross beams in. When we get all the dirt out of here, it'll look uh, pretty nifty. While we got the scaffold scaffolding up here, the other thing we're going to do, and we're going to have the main, it's a, there's going to be a drill head here. So we're going to have to go ahead and um, get that in. And because it's an even number, so we can't do a single one right in the middle, we're going to have to do a, um, we'll find the... Uh, Center four. Okay, there you go. That's nice in the center, and that looks great. All right, so now we're going to put a ladder on one of the legs, and the way we choose which ladder is the corner we did not put a bed in is this corner here, which means that the chest in the platform above to collect the iron is going to go in this corner, so we should probably crawl, uh, climb up this, uh, this corner, which is just fine because this is the side that faces the village it's the most it's the more utilitary side my house my uh pretty soon in the next episode or the episode after that on that platform right over there on that little mini island we're going to build uh, our our permanent base uh for this area and so from there i don't necessarily want to see the ladder i just want to see the tower so this works out pretty good this is the pillar we want to go ahead and put our ladder on it's not uncommon for water towers uh utility base water towers to have ladders going up Okay, now we got to make a little modification here. We're going to break each one of these corners out and put a replace it with a spruce log. All right, and then we're going to put the trap door on this one and close it. And that's because we're going to layer this 
with slabs. And if there's a slab here, we need the trap door so we can get all the way up. I'm not going to lay all the slabs right now because uh, we have some additional stuff to place and these have to go around it. So they go up to, uh, there's going to be two, the, the center two is going to have a wall protruding out. So I know we don't do those. There you go. Yeah, that's the pattern. Okay, so you're going to do slabs. Leave a space here, and that'll make sense in a moment. And there'll be, even with the wall here, there'll be two slabs, two open spaces, and then slabs again to the end. Same here. When you get even with this, you got two slabs, two open spaces, and then the rest of the way to the end. If you make a mistake, no big deal. Just break the slabs out. And again, we're going to leave this here uh, while, while it's a uh, work in progress. We're going to build a little box around this. And it'll be um, encased in a way where it won't look so odd once we get done with the rest of the platform. But this way, when we're coming up and when we're, and when we're climbing down, we're not going to fall off the ladder so easily. Okay, so we got that going. Okay, so now we kinda, we're ready to start closing this off. So I'm going to get some glass and we're going to put a second layer on this. Okay, so we're just about ready for these guys to breed the fifth one. So I'm going to go get some more food and we're going to feed them. And then we'll wait till it's night when they all climb in their beds and we'll put the slabs on the floor so we can easily block them in here. And then we'll be done with this portion. Okay, so now they have food, they have a fifth bed, and they have they need to be in a space that's at least three blocks tall. We have open air, so all the conditions are met, so they should make their uh, fifth villager very soon here. All right, and while we're waiting for that to happen, we're going to start putting some things in place here. This is where the chest is going to go for the uh, collection system, so let me go grab that. Okay, so we have our chest is going to sit right on the glass here, and then we need some hoppers above it. Okay, so I have five hoppers. You really only need three hoppers to start, but ultimately I find that there's a little bit of, you'll see the platform we build. Some of the iron gets a little hung up in the corner between the platform and the wall sometimes, but if you put five uh, hoppers, then that doesn't happen. So we got one. There you go. Okay, so these three right here are the ones you really need. And these two at the end are the ones that are just kind of extra. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to wait till they get the fifth villager before I cap this off because since they're standing on the bed, I don't want to put the ceiling on until we get the fifth villager because um, you won't, you only have three blocks of clearance on a few of the blocks. Here we go. They're starting to go to sleep. All right, there we go. They all went to sleep, so that made it nice and easy to put that floor on without having to worry about them escaping. All right, now when they wake up, hopefully we get a fifth villager, and then we can move on with the uh, platform. Okay, so the walls, the water tower walls that are going to surround this, they're going to go start right then these two blocks right here and going up. Then they're going to come out, which is going to leave these two full slabs there, or full blocks there. So we're going to need to put trap doors on there so a golem cannot spawn there. There you go. Now we need to do that all the way around. So it's the center two blocks all the way around. I'm going to throw some more food in there. I'm not sure why they haven't uh, started breeding again yet. There we go. <laughs> They're just a little shy on food. So we should get our fifth villager momentarily, which means... I don't have everything spawn proofed and I got those stairs going down so a golem is probably going to probably going to spawn uh, once all five of them sleep. Do I, did I hear a fifth one? I thought I did. Yes. Okay, so we have five. All right, so we can start filling this in now. So this here is going to be also a 6 by 6 platform so it just goes directly over this glass wall. Incidentally, this 
Iron Farm is I based it largely on uh, an Iron Farm by Mind the Fab. So I will link that in the description as well if you want to see a the uh, Iron Farm uh, built uh, as a standalone without uh, the water tower around it. So I'll have that up for you. Okay, so this is the platform. So we're probably going to get some uh, Iron Garlands spawning up here if we don't get this... Uh, we won't have it mob proofed or uh, spawn proofed before morning, so we'll definitely get some unintended um, golem spawning, but that's okay. We can deal with that. It's not that tough. And okay, so now we gotta get some walls. Okay, so now they're up here. Just pick a corner. We're gonna do a wall three high all the way around. If you start somewhere not on the hoppers, then you can go over the hoppers real easy just by uh, joining the wall. Or you can always crouch and place directly on top of the hopper. Either way works just fine. Okay, so we need one more hopper, so let me go get that. Okay, so we have a fifth hopper, or, or an extra hopper, so that makes six hoppers. Again, you can do this with just three. Uh, you can go ahead and watch the Mind the Fab video and see how they did there. I just find doing it this way with the extra couple hoppers, you lose less iron in the long run. So what you could do is you could do uh, the three method at first, and then after this produces some iron for you, you can um, put the extra one uh, in there. All right, so now we got to put some signs in, and then we configure them like this. Okay, and that's going to hold the lava in place. Okay, this is it. Now the only thing we need is we need water in the corner. In the corner that's opposite the lava, place down a bucket of water. All right, now we got to get out of here. Okay, those dirt blocks will just get washed into the hoppers and then into the chest. Okay, so this is the platform. This is now ready for the uh, golems. They haven't, uh, the villagers below us haven't slept yet. That's why none have spawned so far. But it is night now, so we do need to uh, get out of here so we can sleep ourselves. I think I heard the little guy up. He, I don't think he slept, so we're not going to get any golems, which actually works uh, well for us right now. Okay, so now we can start building the surround. Okay, so they're all completely enclosed in there, and they have five beds. For whatever reason, the little guy didn't sleep overnight, so we're still not spawning golems, but that's okay. It works for us uh, periodically. And actually, we can now finish this as well. We don't need that anymore. We don't need this uh, temporary part of the platform anymore. Okay, and um, even though we know they're sleeping and golems are spawning, I'm still going to leave this one panel off just until we can make sure this is working perfectly before I completely close that off. Now we're going to do two more layers of the uh, spruce logs on top of this. And I was just thinking, I really should be uh, stripping these. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to go all the way around after and do it, and that'll be a lot harder. Okay, leaving this one little window open here, we're going to go ahead now and we're going to finish the walking platform that goes all the way around. I'm As a placeholder, so that we can test it, I'm going to put two trap doors here. Now these two spots are going to be just like these, but I need them to be non-spawnable so we can test and make sure everything's working good. And uh, also, 
this corner where the chest is, we need to change that out a little bit. Because we need to be able to get to the chest. Okay, so the way we're going to handle this is put a couple temporary blocks in. Take temporary blocks out. Put those guys in, and this is how we'll get to the chest. Okay, so what's going on here is we're going to take some slabs, and we're going to go all the way around. Now, these are bottom half slabs, so these are going to be non-spawnable. Okay, and it'll be three rows out from the inset and two rows out from the little notch that sticks out. Okay, so we got that ring that goes all the way around. It's a nice square now on the outside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build this outside edge up one. Now, one might say, okay, now that's the top half of a slab. Won't that be spawnable? Yes, it would, except we're going to put a fence on it. Okay, now we got a nice safe walkway all the way around, and since there's fences on top of these top half of the, of the block, nothing can spawn there. This is all bottom half a slab, nothing can spawn there. And nothing can spawn on trap doors. We're going to fill this in. We'll remove the trap. Uh-oh. So I, had, I got that a little too close to the uh, fire. So the top row is going to have to be uh, stone. So this row right here, instead the very top row we did, instead of the spruce logs, it's going to have to be stone because it's too close to the uh, flame there. I think when I built this one in my test world, I only went this high. So I went one block higher because I thought it needed a little more, more height, but that one block higher with wood was a little too risky, I guess. I probably don't have to go stone anywhere except for right in that corner, but uh, for consistency's sake, we'll go ahead and do it all the way around. Okie doke. And uh, one last thing before we can take this scaffolding down. I went ahead and underneath this layer of stone here, I just put a cross beam. Makes it look like it's getting supported and it's a nice little piece of contrast. Once we do that, we can remove all this dirt and be one step closer to being uh, spawn proof so we can test and make sure everything is working properly. Okay, so we got the uh, support beam around. It's looking pretty nice now that it's cleaned up. We got our support beam or our, our uh, cross supports. Let's go do the last little bit we have to do before we can test it here. All right, so all this is all spawn proofed here. Just take a quick look around, make sure, because these are bottom half of slabs. This has a fence on it. Now I need to be able to get up here right quick because I got spawnable blocks up there. Okay, none of those walls are spawnable. These are all spawnable though. So for now, let's see what's going to go on there. Okay, so slabs go on here anyway. Okay, now that's a uh, bottom slab. Let me take a peek over. Okay, we're going to go down. We're going to take out the uh, golem. And then we're going to see if the golem spawn in the chamber like they're supposed to. All right, so we got to do this safely. Very sorry, sir. Okay, and there he is. All right, so this is all working well. So now we can put these... Um, let's make sure the iron uh, goes down the hatch like it's supposed to. Yeah, all the iron has gone into one of these hoppers. Okay, so we're looking good. Okay, we got to hurry because these are spawnable blocks, technically. And we don't want them... I mean, he won't hurt me, but... We would rather not have them spawning here. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, roof is on. Nothing up here is spawnable. Okay, let's see. In that short amount of time, okay, we got about a third of a stack. I uh, dropped a button there. About a third of a stack of uh, iron. Not too shabby. Let's go down and put a few finishing touches on it. Okay, and it is all done. I think that looks really cool. I'm really happy with that. And um, it's kind of a 
pretty cool. You can't hear it down here, even when it's working, because we're far enough away where you can't hear the uh, golems. We don't have to listen to that clanging, but it continues to work. Now we just need to do a test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up there, and um, first I'm going to look at it from a couple of different angles. It looks really cool. And um, I need to get some bone meal and bone meal up around down here, make it look a little bit wild and uh, overgrown, and um, it'll look even better. Yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up there. I'm going to pull the iron out of the chest so there's nothing in it. Then I'm going to set a 15-minute timer and see how much iron uh, I'll go away off camera. And then I'll come back when the... They're not, see, when we get a little higher, you can hear the golems. We'll see how much iron we collect. I'll let this, um, I'll let this one finish. And we'll see how much iron we can collect in 15 minutes. And we'll multiply that by four. And then we'll know how much iron per hour. Okay, so we've got a stack and a half. Uh, just kind of futzing around. Okay, so let me go down. All right, I'm going to set me a 15-minute timer, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, and during that time, I, I remember to go up there and uh, strip those spruce logs. And uh, so the, the banded um, uh, portions of those, uh, which are the barrels, and they look like steel bands going around. They, they uh, stick out just a little bit more. Uh, I think it looks a little bit better. All right, so let's go check and see what our yield was after 15 minutes. Okay, 46. So 46 times 4, 167, 184. 184 ingots an hour. Uh, that's about three stacks. A little less than three stacks. So three stacks an hour. That's actually pretty good for a little no zombie uh, uh, iron farm. And it looks better than uh, a floating uh, iron farm as well. This is a functional piece. Pretty cool if you ask me. And uh, we've got some pretty good, v good views up here as well. So you can see the path leading uh, to the uh, village here. And then the path on this way. So we're going to add a bridge there going over to that little island. And that's where my uh, main uh, base is going to be, my house. And over this way, you can kind of see the uh, starting of a bridge that, that leads back towards the, um, uh, the Evil Dead house. And, of course, all of our crops down here, which look fantastic. Uh, I'm really happy with this. And um, it was a little bit clumsy, but uh, we got through it. And uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, down here, I did find three bones, so I was able to make a little bit of bone meal. And uh, we'll make this look a little more natural underneath. But I really like the supports. I like the main uh, the main housing here for uh, drilling the water. And uh, it's got a nice functional look to it. And, uh, and it's going to be a pretty darn good source of iron. I think at some point I might build another one of these and not worry about how it looks and put it right by spawn so that way it's loaded no matter what. Now keep in mind, I could easily add a zombie to that and then it would run even if, uh, even if I'm not sleeping. Now what I did during that 15 minutes is when night came, I did, I did sleep right away uh, to maximize the amount of time when this runs. Because remember, there's no zombie in this one, which makes it really easy to build, but then it doesn't run uh, when the villagers are sleeping. So that's the trade-off you get there. But I don't know, pretty easy trade-off to me. This area is starting to develop uh, really nicely. I think... Um, in between episodes, I'm going to do some harvesting of some crops, and we'll start trading with the villagers and getting a bunch of emeralds, and we got to do something about our gear and our armor. I mean, come on, we're still in uh, iron, and I'm in need of some adventure here. So uh, I think we might do a caving or an adventure uh uh, episode coming up pretty in, in between uh, building the main base. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, again, everybody, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks a whole bunch for joining in, in and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, consider giving a, a like to this video and uh, subscribing to my page. That certainly would help me out a whole bunch. I'd appreciate it. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye.